Hello everyone, I am Riya Chandhok. In our previous video, we have learned that what is history? Why do we learn history? Then we have seen the difference between the history and prehistory as well as time and dates in history. Now we will move ahead in our chapter of when, where and how, the geographical framework. The geography of a land has powerful impact on its history. As the geography seeks to understand where things are found, why they are there and how they develop and change over time. The history of Indian subcontinent has also been influenced by the physical features of the land. The Himalayas In the map of India, look at the Himalayas. The Himalayas are these. Here. Here it is written the Himalayas. The immensely high ranges of the Himalayas stretch across the north of India. These high Himalayan ranges acted as a barrier for the person who wanted to invade India. Invade means to enter a country with an army in order to attack and take control of it. However, people travelled in and out of India freely through passes. Passes were the low lying portions along the northwestern portions of the Himalayas. Even though most of the people were traders and travelers, but invaders have also entered India through these passes. Then, the oceans and seas. India is called an Indian Peninsula because India is surrounded by the Indian Ocean on the three side. That is, let us see. That is Arabian Sea on the west, the Indian Ocean on the south as, and the Bay of Bengal on the east. The long coastline with its natural ports and harbours has encouraged trade in India for thousands of years with distant land. Coastline also known as seashore or coast is the area where land meets the sea or ocean. The kingdoms of South India were able to adapt, were able to develop strong navies and establish overseas colonies in Southeast Asia and the Northern Plains. This figure represents the Northern Plains in orange part. The northern plain of India is formed by three river systems that is the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. These plains extend approximately 3200 kilometers from west to east. The northern, the northern plains is a vast expanse of fertile land. The fertile nature of the plains encouraged the growth of agriculture. This feature of fertility led to the establishment of many powerful kingdoms and empires here, like those of the Mauryas and the Guptas. The Deccan Plateau In this figure, we can clearly locate the Deccan Plateau. It is here and these represents the northern plains. So, the Deccan Plateau, the Deccan Plateau is a large plateau that covers most of South India. It is triangular surrounded by three mountain ranges that is the Vindhya Hills on the north, Western Ghats on the west and Eastern Ghats on the east. It extends over eight Indian states. The isolation of the Deccan Plateau by the mountain ranges enabled the growth of several regional kingdoms here, like those of the Cholas, the Chalukyas and the Rashkutas.